Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today we're taking a look at the brand spanking new HP Omen 2016 edition. With increased competition from the Dell Inspiron 7559 and the IdeaPad Y700, HP has revamped this whole HP Omen line in order to compete. The packaging is pretty basic. On the front you got an HP Omen picture. Open it up and you'll be greeted by an HP Omen quick setup guide, some styrofoam, the HP Omen itself, power cable, and your adapter. This year's Omen is much more affordable, with the base model now starting at $899, however this is a pre-configured Best Buy model. This one features the Intel Core i7-6700HQ, 8GB of DDR4, 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel, a 1TB drive for your games, as well as 128GB SSD for your main OS, an Nvidia GTX 960M, and the retail price of this model is $1029 US. To access the internal components, simply remove all the screws on the bottom, then use this pry opening tool and pry up gently. After that, you'll have easy access to the internal components. Here goes your 61 watt hour battery pack, M.2 SSD, two DIMM slots for your DDR4 RAM. This model features eight gigs. Your two fans, one for your GPU and one for your CPU, and your traditional 7200 RPM hard drive. The read speeds on 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD is quick. However, the write speeds are kind of low, coming in at 138.3 megabytes a second. And here's some benchmarks for your one terabyte drive running at 7200 RPM. For your ports on the left side, you got your Kensington security lock slot, USB 2, USB 3, and a headset microphone jack combo. On the right side, you got your SD card reader, which sits pretty flush mount, USB 3, full size HDMI, RJ45 Ethernet, and your charging port. The new Omen takes a big step backwards in terms of design. The old one is just clean and slick looking. The new one's basically using a shell of a regular HP pavilion, just like the pavilion gaming notebook I reviewed a while back. However, in order to keep it interesting, HP slapped the red Omen logo on here and some checkered stripes. The interior is also made out of plastic just like the rest of the notebook. You also have those design cues on the inside just like the exterior. The weight comes in at 4.85 pounds and its thickest point is 0.96 inches. The bottom side is plain old plastic with two row of rubber feet and your intake vents. The back side you got two row of exhaust vents and your chromed out blacked out hinges. The flexing towards the top of the notebook has been much improved over the HP Pavilion Gaming Notebook which bounced like a trampoline. However, there's still some minor flex especially towards the middle. The display flex isn't too bad considering it's plastic construction. It's pretty much similar to all the other notebooks in its class. You will need two hands to open this notebook as the hinges are pretty stiff. The hinges feel pretty durable, however only time will be able to tell how long they last. In terms of keyboard flex, there is hardly any flex thanks to the solid base. This notebook is rocking a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel, text and images are sharp, however the color accuracy is on the low side just like the other notebooks in its range. The sRGB coverage came in at 68% and the Adobe RGB scored 51%. Another thing on the low side was the display brightness came in at 210 nits. The viewing angles on the 1920x1080p IPS model was great, no complaints. You can also upgrade to the 4K model for $90 more, or go all out with the 17 inch model. The Omen is equipped with a Skylake based Intel Core i7-6700HQ. This is a quad core processor clocked at 2.6GHz, but can boost up to 3.5GHz. Performance wise, this chip is a freaking beast. It can handle basically anything you throw at it. For your GPU, you're getting an NVIDIA GTX 960M with 4GB of GDDR5. You can also upgrade to the NVIDIA GTX 965M for a slight boost in performance. Even though the 960M is coming up on almost 2 years old, you can expect to play many of today's latest games on high settings at 1920x1080p. Here's a quick sample of Skyrim running at 1920x1080p on ultra settings. On average, I'm getting around 50 to 60 frames per second. However, during intense action scenes, it'll drop to around 45 frames per second. Next up is Battlefield 4 running at 1920x1080p on high settings. You can expect around 50 to 60 frames per second. You can stretch it to ultra, but the best experience is on high settings. After 45 minutes of Battlefield 4 gameplay, the exterior temps are pretty impressive. On the right side is going to be your hottest point at around 48 to 50 degrees Celsius, and on the left side of the notebook by the WASD keys remain pretty cool at around 33 degrees Celsius. The HP image pad has also been reduced to about the size of an iPhone 4. The previous one was about the size of an iPhone 6. Tracking, two finger scrolling, and multi-touch gestures were all on point. This is one of the most responsive trackpads I've tested thus far on the $1000 gaming notebooks. You get a standard full size keyboard with a 10 key numeric keypad. The key travel is decent and the overall typing experience is pretty good. And yes, you do get a backlit keyboard, but there's only one option either on or off. The good days are over like the old HP Omen which had multiple color options. 
Next up is speaker performance. This notebook features two drivers facing on top by the keyboard. They are powered by Bang & Olufsen and the sound quality is decent. What's really lacking here is that low-end kick from a subwoofer, like the one found on the Inspiron 7559 and IdeaPad Y700. The good news here is the Bang & Olufsen audio control panel will let you adjust the bass, the treble, and the dialogue clarity. This notebook ships with the Intel dual-band wireless AC7265, which is a better card compared to the AC3165 found in the Inspiron 7559. I did have some connection issues out of the box, but a simple driver update resolved all my issues. The new Omen features a 3-cell 61.5Wh battery pack that can generate around 4-5 to five hours of casual usage. Keep in mind, this is with medium screen brightness and just regular everyday usage. And if you plan on gaming on the battery pack, expect around an hour and 25 minutes. To keep your gaming performance going, HP has included a 120W AC adapter to power this notebook. Here's a quick test of the 720p HD webcam running at 30 frames per second. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. These two fans are pretty quiet and efficient with light to medium usage. However, fire up a game and you'll hear them running, but it's not too loud and antagonizing. So let's get to the conclusion of the new HP Omen. Like I said earlier, the biggest difference here is the price point. The base model now starts at an affordable $899, but heads up, that model comes with a 950M. The model you'll definitely want is the 1249 one from HP.com. That one comes with a faster NVIDIA 965M, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, two 128 gigabyte solid state drives, and best of all, a 4K display. You're getting a much better bang for your buck compared to the Best Buy configuration I have, which comes at a chest over $1,200. The new HP Omen is a solid portable gaming machine that has the power to play the latest games and edit videos. However, if you're looking for the cheapest and most capable gaming notebook on the market, the Nadell Inspiron 7559 is still a better choice at $800. But beware, that model comes with a slower mechanical hard drive with no standalone SSD, slower DDR3 RAM, and a slower Wi-Fi chip. Display quality and brightness levels are about the same at 210 nits, which is fine for indoor usage, but not acceptable for outdoor usage. Alright guys, this about wraps up my full review on the new HP Omen 2016 edition. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to smack that like button, and don't forget to sub. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.